Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I've just been in such a good mood because the weather's been cooling down a little bit. It's still been pretty warm, but like compared to, you know, how it's been. And just now when I went to go over to the package room, I saw geese. So if they're back, you know that means summer has come to an end. But I just got a package in the mail. I'm so excited. I ordered some clothes from Cider. I ordered from them once before last winter. Um, I got two dresses from there and loved them. The price was incredible. The quality was really, really good. The fit was great. So I was looking on their website again the other night and then I ordered some stuff. I'm so excited. First, I got this little like lettuce hem top. Then I got this pair of shorts. I have yet to order bottoms from this website. So like I said, I just have two dresses. I got the shorts in a large. I got another pair of shorts. These ones are a little bit of like a thicker knit material. And then this, I was so excited about. It has like the little mock neck and it's asymmetrical. I thought this would be stunning to wear to like a holiday party. And then I got another dress. It's like a slinky kind of dress, lots of ruching. Let's go try this stuff on and see how everything fits. These shorts, oh my God, they're so cute and they fit perfectly. Like they feel like they were tailored to my body. The black shorts fit great too, same thing. They're like a perfect fit, not too loose, not too tight. Oh, I'm so happy. I am in love with this dress. And I don't even have any shapewear on underneath, which normally if I'm wearing a tight fitted dress, I would wear some shapewear shorts to prevent like my thighs rubbing together and also just to like smooth everything out. But I feel like because of the ruching of this dress, you don't even have to like it's just so flattering both of the dresses i got in a size medium by the way i don't think i mentioned that and this is so stretchy and like it cinches you in but it's not a super tight hugging fabric like now i need somewhere to go to wear this i'm gonna be totally honest i was a little unsure about this dress getting it on like it is stretchy but because of the type of fabric you have to be careful to not stretch it too much and it's like kind of thin and delicate, so I was a little nervous I was gonna rip it, but I got it on just fine. And again, I don't have shapewear underneath, so like, you know, I would wear something to kind of like smooth all of this area. Um, but, I, wow, it is stunning. And I just can't believe how cheap it was. Like this was literally less than $20. And I love the neckline. I love the sleeves. I'm obsessed. 10 out of 10. And then lastly, here is that top. And this is probably how I would wear it with just some like loose baggy jeans. This I believe I also got in a medium. Oh no, I got this in a large. And I could have definitely sized down to a medium because it's super, super stretchy. I am so happy with everything. The look, the fit, and not sponsored. I paid for everything with my own money, but just wanted to share. I know you guys like try on hauls and all of that kind of stuff. But today I'm gonna be home most of the day. It's a YouTube work from home day. I have two videos for my YouTube channel that are done and ready to be edited. And then a podcast episode, which doesn't need to go up until Friday, but I definitely want to at least start working on that because those videos are pretty long and they can take a while to edit. So yeah, I'm gonna sit and get as much editing done as I can basically until my brain feels fried. <laughs> and then I have two sit down videos that I wanna record, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or not. We'll kinda see. It's weird, like there are some days where my thoughts are just very clear and I can just sit down and I can concisely say everything that I wanna say. And then there's days like today 
even just vlogging right now, I keep like stumbling over my words and having to repeat myself and like start my sentences over. This is another reason why I refuse to ever hire someone to edit my videos for me because I would be mortified. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Days like today when I am, you know, working from home and I'm doing all of my like creative content stuff i just kind of go with the flow i don't stick to a strict routine of like okay from this time to this time i'll be editing then this time to this time i'll be filming i just go with whatever feels right to me because otherwise if i force myself to do something then i'll end up hating it afterwards and i'll just delete it and like want to redo it so it just ends up being a total waste of time but i need to be done and ready by five o'clock because then at five i'm recording a podcast episode with my friend julia and i need to be on time for that and like really be efficient with my time because then i have dinner plans downtown with a bunch of my friends we have a reservation for like 7 30 i think i'm gonna go change out of these jeans and get some work done and i will see you later it's many hours later as you can probably Hell, the sun is almost set um i was just recording the podcast so i'm done with that and i need to hurry up <laughs> because my dinner reservations with my friends is in like 10 minutes and it's gonna take me at least 15 minutes to get there and i am still in pajama pants All right, there's my outfit. The new top I got from Cider. These jeans are Abercrombie. And then these blue strappy shoes from H&M. And then this white bag from Amazon. I gotta go, I will update you when I get home. Good afternoon, actually, it's 12.04. <laughs> it's Wednesday. I've just been working all morning. Like I literally got up, made coffee, went straight to the couch and have just been on my computer answering emails editing etc and now i'm like okay it's noon i need to step away my laptop i also am running an update on it right now because it's just been acting weird it just keeps telling me that i'm out of storage and it's just been like running kind of slow i think it probably just needs to be updated because i haven't run an update in a while so letting it do that and I needed to stop anyway because I am working front desk at the salon later this afternoon. <laughs> so I just updated my computer. Everything was fine. Then I saw that there was an update for Final Cut which is the editing program that I use. So I was like, oh, well, let me just update everything. That way, hopefully, everything will be running smoothly. Anyway, I go and I open Final Cut, and it still looks exactly the same, and I'm like, where's all of my projects? So I find them. They're still there on my computer. Like, Final Cut, it, like, always saves backups. Like, it automatically will save a draft, like, as you're working. So I find everything, it's all there, everything that I was working on. Uh, and then I try to like pull it up in Final Cut. And it's just gone. Everything, every single video that I was working on is gone. And it said that the backups that I have all of my projects that I was working on aren't compatible with this new version anymore because they were done in the older version. I have never had this happen. I've been using this same software for like 10 years now. And every time I update it, like it just pulls back up everything that I was working on before and it's fine. I've never had this issue. And so I'm trying to do research and I'm like, well, is there a way that I can like download an old version of Final Cut or like undo the update? I don't know. I'm going to try and search a little more and see if I can find a download somewhere for an older version 
but everything that I was seeing was just the, you know, newest, most up-to-date one. Thank God I had a podcast video that was completely done. I finished editing it yesterday, but I just didn't export it right away. And I did that this morning when I got up before I did all these updates. So I was able to complete the video and I uploaded it and I scheduled it on like YouTube and everything. So that's already done. Oh my, I would have been so mad if I spent all that time and had an entire episode that was already finished and then it was just gone. So the episode that we just recorded yesterday, I it'll let me pull the audio, but I the video is gone. That's not the end of the world, I guess. We could just do an audio episode. But I had a vlog that was going to be like an hour long and I was like halfway through editing it and I had been working on it since yesterday and I spent all morning working on it. And it was a really good vlog. It was really long. There was a lot of stuff in it. That's all gone. My apartment hunting video. Luckily, I still have the footage, like the original footage of the apartment on my phone. But like I sat down and recorded a voiceover and I was like talking through everything. All of that's gone. So I have to refilm that. It's like all that time and work gone what a freaking nightmare and I have to leave in like an hour to go to the salon and I you know still haven't gotten ready okay I'm gonna go okay it's a little while later I sat messing with my computer trying to figure out if I could like download an old version of Final Cut and I found a few but then every time I would download it it was coming up as the newest version I just don't even know if it's worth the hassle of like and stress trying to mess with it anymore. I'll just have to scrap that vlog, which sucks because there was some good stuff on there, like some good hair content, but it is what it is. But yeah, I had to step away from that because I needed to get ready to go to work. So we're just, it sucks. It definitely sucks, but uh, I just got to, let it go and move on and now I know for next time to be careful and I think this is a lesson I have been doing YouTube for like over 10 years now and I don't have an external hard drive I've just been deleting stuff and just trying to like make do and I don't know I like I need to just get one so this was my wake-up call and my lesson so I'm finally going to do that uh, so hopefully I won't have this issue again in the future. But yeah, I am going to work front desk tonight. So I'm wearing some Abercrombie jeans and this high neck bodysuit from Zara. And all of my Ana Luisa accessories. And Ana Luisa is sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to them for continuing to work with me. They make high quality jewelry at an affordable price. And pretty much all of the jewelry that I wear, especially the pieces that you see I never take off, like my earrings and my bracelets, are all Ana Luisa. That's what I love about their jewelry. It's really high quality, it doesn't tarnish, it lasts a really long time, but you're also not paying a ridiculous amount. Their jewelry starts at $39. Like I said, all of my earrings here are from them, and I never take these earrings out, especially the ones in my second and third hole. I wear them in the shower, I wear them swimming to the beach, to the gym, never take them off. My skin gets pretty sensitive to cheap jewelry, especially my ears, but I have never had any issue with Ana Luisa's jewelry. And their pieces are so good for any occasion, whether it's just a regular day, going to work like today, or if you have a special event to go to, I have some like nicer bolder pieces that are great for dressing up if you're going to like a party or a wedding or something and Ana Luisa is so confident in the quality of their pieces that they actually have a two-year worry-free guarantee they also offer free and fast shipping within the U.S. and I have a discount code so click the link in my description and use my code SAMBAY20 and you'll get 20% off your purchase Thank you so much again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. And thank you to you guys for supporting my sponsors. But yeah, I'm working the front desk three to close. So I'll probably be there till about eight o'clock at least. 
This is gonna be a little bit of a late night. And I started working the front desk because I've been doing hair professionally since 2017. And then when I moved down to North Carolina a couple years ago, I took a break for a while because I was like feeling burnt out. And I'll, a lot of you guys who've been watching me, you already know the story, but if you're new. So I was just like working from home doing YouTube full time, but I got to a point where I was like, I just need something to get me out of the house. I just stay in my pajamas pretty much all day. Like I need an excuse to like get dressed up, be social, meet people, make friends, etc. And I was missing like the salon atmosphere. And the salon where my friend works was hiring for a part-time front desk position. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. So I started working there and it was, it's been great. But after being there for a few months, then I was starting to miss doing hair. So I started taking clients occasionally and like easing back into it. And now I've been doing clients every Saturday and then also doing front desk a little bit throughout the week. But I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm over the front desk shifts. Like it's nice because it's really easy and I feel like I can go to work and socialize and like hang out with my coworkers without having to like work too hard because it, like it's e it's an easy job but at the same time it's just kind of getting to the point where I feel like especially now that I'm doing hair again I just have so much on my plate between YouTube the podcast doing hair and doing the front desk where I'm like it just it gets kind of a lot and like days like today I've been working on my computer and I still have so much work that I need to do so it's a little annoying having to step away from that to go do this especially because like when I really break it down it's just not really like financially it's just not really worth my time anymore so I don't know like days when I have to go do it I kind of have been dreading lately by the way don't mind the dirty dishes in my sink so I'm contemplating what I want to do I'm gonna be traveling soon and I'm gonna be gone for like a month and then by the time I get back the holiday season is gonna kind of start and it's gonna get crazy so I'm not even gonna really worry about it too much until January when things start to slow back down but I'm thinking that I will just stop doing the front desk and I'd love to do like two days a week of hair and not work on Saturdays or only maybe do like one Saturday a month and I could do like weeknights instead. So that way I can still accommodate people that work nine to fives. But I don't know, it's tricky because the salon where I work is just, it's packed. Like there's a lot of girls and they all like double and triple book themselves. So every station will be filled during the week. That's why I've had to work Saturdays because Saturdays they all do weddings. So that's the only day when we're open, but it's actually pretty empty. So just trying to figure that out. Um, I don't know if there's going to be space for me to take clients more. So then I might have to like move on and look for somewhere else or maybe look into doing my own thing, like a salon suite, but that's a lot of responsibility and money. So that can be kind of stressful, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. If you're a hairdresser, comment down below and let me know what your experience has been. Cause like doing commission is so easy and it's like risk free, which I like. And it's like, there's no responsibility. I can go out of town for a month and not have to worry about anything. But I feel like there's pros and cons to both. So let me know your feedback and your advice, especially if you do have your own place or you have a salon suite or you booth rent or whatever like let me know what that experience has been like and what you recommend because i just feel like 2024 is going to be the year of changes but anyway all that to say i'm gonna go do this front desk shift i'll catch up with you later hey i look like a freaking mess it's 1 p.m <laughs> i did not vlog anything the last two days because i have just been working non-stop I don't know I think I've mentioned it a little bit like here and there but I don't know if I like officially said what is 
happening. So I am going up to Pennsylvania for a couple days and then from there, I'm flying to Italy with my family. My mom's family is all from there actually. Italian is her first language, but she hasn't been over there since I was a baby. So it's been 30 years and my brother has never been at all. I haven't been since high school and we had this trip planned back in 2020, but then because of COVID, we had to obviously cancel it and we finally got around to rescheduling it this year. So we're finally gonna go do that. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to record as much of that trip as I can. So I'll share everything that we end up doing, everywhere we go, all of that. It's gonna be really good. We're gonna be there for two weeks and then I'm gonna go back to Pennsylvania, stay with my family for like another week or so and then come back down here. So I'm gonna be gone for a while and I feel like any time, like the week or two leading up to a trip, especially a long one like this, is always a little bit chaotic because I try to get ahead on work as much as I can because obviously with what I do, it's not like a traditional job where I can have like paid time off. So I've been trying to take as many hair clients as I possibly can. I'm a little stressed out, I'm not gonna lie. And I have a lot that I still need to do because I am leaving in six days. So the last two days I didn't vlog anything. I was just working a bunch. And today, I don't know if you can tell, it is raining. It's chilly out. It's like the perfect gloomy, chilly fall day. Oh, I love it. It's so cozy. So I've just been spending the whole morning doing more computer work, responding to emails, editing, planning out my calendar, making sure that I have everything planned out for you know what I need to do before I leave and for when I get back. So yeah, that's why I look like this at 1 p.m. But great news. So you know how earlier I said that I lost all the footage from the vlog that was supposed to go up before this one? Well, I did lose like the first two thirds of it, but I do have some footage that I still had on my SD card. I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from last week. And since today is Friday and I'm not doing anything vlog worthy, I thought, I'll include those clips, that way they don't totally go to waste. So current day me is going to stop vlogging and we are going to rewind to exactly one week ago and I will just let the vlog pick up from there and we can just kind of pretend that what happened last weekend is what's happening this weekend. Story I have for you today Listening to Crime Junkie, of course. If you know me, you know whatever I'm cleaning, I gotta throw on a crime podcast. Bed sheets are currently washing. I divided up all of the Dirt Devil stuff into what I'm gonna keep and then what I am going to give away. Yeah, that was all shown and included in the footage that I had lost. But if you guys remember a few vlogs ago, I showed how Dirt Devil invited me to Charlotte to their like product symposium and I got to try out all of the products in their line and then they told us that we were all going to be receiving all of their products. So I got a huge shipment with like, I don't even know, like 20 boxes of all Dirt Devil stuff. So I split everything up into like what I was gonna keep and then what I either like already had or just didn't need it that I'm gonna like give away to friends and family. But I'm so grateful for everything that I got. Thank you again so much, Dirt Devil, for inviting me and for sending me all the products. And thank you to you guys for allowing me to have such a cool job where I 
can do stuff like this. So this is the stuff that I am not keeping for myself. And then this is the stuff that I am gonna keep. Some of these things I wanna use now, so I am gonna take them out of the box, but some of the other stuff I'm gonna just wait on. But I was about to use this. I'm so excited. And this is not sponsored. This is a broom that vacuums all at the same time. And normally when I clean my kitchen floors, I will sweep first to get like underneath and all the little like tight spaces. And then I will also go and vacuum to make sure I'm getting like everything. Cause like the broom doesn't always grab everything. So this is amazing because it's a two in one. And I love that all their stuff is so easy <laughs> to use and to assemble. And then it's so easy to just pop it open when you need to empty it out into the garbage. So I'm gonna leave that to sit and charge for a little while. This is their cordless handheld vacuum. And I wanna use this to clean my couch. Cause I normally just use like the hose attachment on my regular vacuum. As I'm trying to move the vacuum along, it is always falling over onto me. This is just way more convenient. Here it is. It's so lightweight. Okay. I'm gonna let this stuff charge and then we will resume in a bit. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I like this a lot and I did test it out when I was in Charlotte. We poured a bunch of Cheerios on the floor and it swept and vacuumed everything up in like one motion so nicely. So I feel like this is ideal for messes like that. But if you need to clean an entire floor, it's not the best for that. And like my kitchen is quite small and even still, I just felt like this, I don't know, like, mm, this isn't as like fast and quick as it could be. And I could only imagine if I had like, you know, this entire room was all hardwood, it would take forever. I think it's a really cool tool and very, very useful for like quick little messes, but to do an entire floor, I wouldn't use it for that. Unless you just need to like go through and clean really quick, but like this floor is gross because I have not swept or vacuumed it in weeks. But I mean, look, just in a few seconds that I was using it, it picked up a lot of dog hair and crumbs. I'm gonna plug it back in and I'm just gonna sweep this up the way I normally would. handheld vacuum to vacuum the couch and that was so much nicer than using the hose attachment on my vacuum because it's just so lightweight so quick so easy it sucked up a ton of dog hair you can see all of that in there but now I am going to deep clean the cushions I am so excited for this because I used to have the green one that's really popular, like green machine or something like that. I don't know. It's green and has green in the name. Um, and that one was like really popular and really hyped up for a while, a few years ago. I just didn't think that it was powerful enough, that it worked that well. So I ended up giving it away. And then when I saw that Dirt Devil had one and I saw it demoed and got to actually try it out when I was on that trip, I was like, wait a second, this is so much better. Like I like it better, it works so much better. And when they told us that we were gonna get all the products, this is what I was the most excited to receive. 
What I like about this one too is you can put the hose in through here and it will run the cleaning solution through the hose and just like recycle it through so that you can clean out the hose. Cause that was the other issue I had with the other one. I felt like it just got so dirty and so nasty and it was really hard to keep clean. So fill it up with mostly water do a little bit of solution and there's lines on here that show you where to fill it up and then it has a few different attachments Disgusting. Yep, hands down, so much better than the one I used to have. That was so easy. It took me just under 10 minutes. Look at all of that. So disgusting. So cool. And you can see through the hose. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can see through the hose. So you can literally see everything passing through. There you go. Uh, it doesn't really take up like that much space. And I like that it has the handle. Nice and portable. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I don't know why I do this to myself. I am making a pledge right now to stop. Oh, this is so bright. <laughs> I'm gonna stop being a yes woman for everything. And I've been trying to work on this, and sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm really getting there, I'm getting so much better, and then I do shit like this. <laughs> so today I have one client, technically I have two clients coming in, but the second one is my friend Maddie, and she's new, and I don't know who she is or what she wants. She's on my schedule for a highlight cut, but I didn't talk to her when she scheduled so you just never know but this client was originally booked for 10 o'clock which is my first appointment slot of the day and she called a few days ago and asked if she could come in earlier and I don't know why I said yes it's not really a big deal like in my mind I was like oh well if I take her at 9 then I can be done even earlier and I can have more of my Saturday but the point is it's like the principle of the thing and I really need to start putting my foot down more and just be like no my first appointment time is 10 o'clock that's the earliest I can do because that is the schedule that I set for myself I need to set stricter boundaries for myself and stick to them <laughs> let me just show you my outfit I mean it's really simple and plain actually let me put you down here this bodysuit is very old. It's from Boohoo. And then these jeans are Abercrombie. They are the dad jeans. I'm gonna take Benny out really quick and then head to the salon and we'll see what that new client actually wants. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, that it is just a simple highlight cut, or like a balayage, and it's not gonna be anything too crazy time consuming because I'd love to just have like a nice smooth day. My client this day ended up being so, so sweet and she had virgin hair. She had never colored it before, which is so exciting and so rare these days. So she said she just wanted something really natural and subtle to just kind of like brighten up her hair and add some dimension, but nothing like too drastically different. And she wanted it to be really low maintenance. So I don't know if you can tell, but she actually had a couple like natural highlights just from the sun. So I decided to just play off of those. So I did like a freehand painting technique on her. And this is what her final hair looked like. It came out so pretty. We also did a haircut and added some layers and she was really happy. Hello, it is several hours later. Work went really well. My first client who was new, like I said, she had virgin hair 
it had never been colored before and she just wanted to add a little bit of color but she said she's so low maintenance she was like i honestly have not been to a salon for a haircut even in like over a year so i just i need something that is going to grow out really nice because like she was just so honest she was like i probably won't be back for another year so i decided to just like freehand paint her and let her process in open air so that way she wouldn't lift too much and it just added the most beautiful like natural sun kissed highlights and i focused them mostly like around her face in the front and down on the ends and it was so seamless like you couldn't tell where her natural color ended and the highlights started like it was just so beautiful and it was exciting because the whole time she was like not entirely sure what she wanted but she was like i just i don't know i trust you and but she also was like nervous because she's never colored her hair before and i was like don't worry like i got you and then seeing her reaction at the end she loved it and she was super sweet and nice and it worked out perfect that i ended up going in earlier because now i got done with work earlier and also she is going to a wedding and that's why she asked if we could move it up a little bit so she would just have a little extra time which honestly worked out because that way i didn't feel like i was you know rushing to get her done by a certain time i haven't eaten anything yet because i wasn't hungry this morning so now i'm eating this like half melted protein bar and my friend texted me and asked if i wanted to go get dinner tonight so i'm going with a couple friends we have a six o'clock reservation very excited i'll see you later i'm gonna go take benny out and like just chill for a second cheers, cheers to a little girl's night Good morning or no why am I saying good morning it's 2 30 in the afternoon happy Sunday last night was so much fun went to dinner with my two friends and then we ended up going to the one friend's house and we just sat up talking until one in the morning so it was a late night but it was really fun and it's so nice to spend time with your girlfriends but I'm just like at that point in my life like yes I can still go out and have a good time once in a while but especially if i worked earlier in the day like i am exhausted by 8 30. and if i'm not in bed going to sleep by 10 at the latest i just become a zombie by the time i went to bed it was like 2 in the morning so needless to say i slept in pretty late this morning and i've just been kind of relaxing and being lazy i had breakfast coffee i was watching some youtube videos but now i decided it's time to bust out the fall decor and i'm excited with how the weather's been lately like i'm just really feeling the fall vibes and i just want to make my apartment feel all fall and cozy i love this time of year so i have some fall ambiance on the tv i just find these videos on youtube so let me dig into this and see what i have because to be honest i don't even really remember and i don't have a crazy amount of decor but my apartment's pretty small anyway so it'll be enough last year when i decorated for fall it was pretty cute in here from what i remember i have this pillow with cute pumpkins on it i have some kitchen towels i really love these super cute and some other things in here like these little drawer organizers that are obviously not fall decor. This little thing of faux leaves. I think I got this at Ikea. I have this glass pumpkin from Home Goods, and you're supposed to be able to put batteries in it and it lights up, but um, it has since broken, but it's still very beautiful. This pumpkin picture, this little sign. These I think are all from like either Home Goods or Michaels. This pumpkin patch one, I love this one. And I have this leaf garland. This little sign for the front door. And then I have these two wicker pumpkins. Now I have this little glass pumpkin that I think is from Target. This is apparently all the fall stuff that I have, which is really not a lot at all. I could have sworn this entire thing was filled with fall specific things but apparently not i have a lot of just like extra random things so 
I'm gonna put out what I have. This will definitely be enough to just at least add to like the living room and kitchen, like the main living area in here. Enough to just like get me in the fall spirit. It didn't do too much, but I feel like once I light a fall candle and I set the ambiance with some lighting and stuff, it'll it'll feel like fall. So I put the garland by the TV, one of the wicker pumpkins over here. So that's how that looks. The big glass pumpkin I put up there. The little glass pumpkin I put on the coffee table. The faux leaves I put over here on the kitchen island. This was that thing I got the other day from Walmart. And then the rest of the stuff I put up above the cabinets, that pumpkin, the other sign, and the other wicker pumpkin. I am just gonna stay home the rest of the day. It's like the perfect day to just stay home and be lazy and cozy because it's cloudy out. I am gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.